Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be the next baseball video. This one's going to be on Robbie Ray going to the Mariners for five years. A very good job by the Seattle Mariners to sign Ray to a five-year deal, $115 million. They finally got their horse. They really haven't had that horse ace on the mound since Felix Hernandez was King Felix. Because you've seen it a little bit with Gonzalez while he was there, but not consistency. You saw a little bit of flashes with Kikuchi, but not consistency. So now you get a guy... That hasn't always been consistent in his career, which has contributed to his 4 ERA. But he also has had some very good years, like the 3-5-2 ERA where Arizona sucked, but he pitched well. The 2 8 9 ERA he had in 2017, his all-star campaign and lone all-star campaign should have been won, um, obviously, probably this season. But uh, you also have a 3.93 ERA in 2018. Well, the reason he has a 4 ERA is in 12 games, he was really off in 2020, 6 6 2. And then um, he also was off in the fur or in the, um, where did that season go? The ad popped up. He also was off in the, give me a second. In the 2019 season when he had a 4.34. So he had back-to-back -back off campaign that had popped up there while we were going over. Uh, 4.34 ERA in 2019 and a 6.62 total in 2020. But then he obviously bounced back in bunches to get a 2.84 ERA. Win the Cy Young and absolutely dominate the American League. So he earned the money. He earned the five-year contract. Robbie Ray is absolutely nasty. It's fun to watch him pitch too because he does the grunting. He has a nasty off-speed pitch, nasty breaking ball, and then also obviously has a very good fastball. And it's really fun to watch that dude pitches a southpaw because he has a great delivery, but also a funny delivery with the grunting and fun to watch. Um, he started with the Pirates or with the Tigers, excuse me, but had his best years prior to last year with the Blue Jays, of course, with the Arizona Diamondback. And um, that's where he was able to make his due and make the All-Star team. And then he went off last year for the Cy Young and earned this contract. Kudos and hats off to the Seattle Mariners for recognizing, just like the Angels have done this offseason, you have to continue to add the pitching and you have to add the top dog, the top horse. And he is a horse on the mound. He's a guy that's always going to give you inning and always give you a good just go out there and pitch. Even in the season he had a 4.34, he gave you 33 games. So he's always going to be able to give you those innings and go out there and pitch. And he's also going to be a pretty damn good pitcher where the worst I see him being is that 3.93 season. And if he does that for one season in the five-year contract, and otherwise it's like 3.33 three 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 ERAs or like a two three ERA or something like that in other years, that's perfectly fine because that's gonna be a hell of a contract, a hell of a pickup by the Mariners as they continue to build this team and build a nice successful team built off of young guys like Kyle Lewis and others and now they add in a very good pitcher in Robbie Ray, who still is only thirty years old himself, so you're gonna have him to his age thirty five season. So I don't think that's a bad thing. I think 35 is when is the cutoff. You really want to have guys for multiple years after that and start just giving them couple-year deals. So having a guy end at 35 in a five-year deal, that's very good coming off of the Cy Young season. Only reason he has the four ERA is two off-seasons in his career. And even in that off-season, that was actually a full season and not a shortened season. In 19, he still had a four-something ERA with the 4.34. So... This has been the video on Robbie Ray going to the Seattle Mariners. As the Mariners, as they make other good moves as well that I will be doing videos on, bringing their top dog, their top horse in Robbie Ray, is he has a chance to be the first absolutely big kahuna in that rotation since King Fiola, since we only saw little spurts from Gonzalez as being that top dog at different times, and then you saw really small spurts from Kikuchi as being that top dog at different times. So peace out, everybody. If you enjoyed the content, we really appreciate and special thanks to the 168 that have already. Please consider subscribing to keep us growing. Peace out, everybody, and have a great week.